Hello everyone, Flamble Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Oh, and if you're wondering why there isn't any commentary for most of the next episode, oh, it's because that, um, well, well, I screwed up. I tried, um, what I did was, during the monkey sequence, I forgot to unmute my mic after it. So it's going to be a bit of post-commentary in the episode before this, so yeah. And right now we are in the forest temple, just slash this cage, and we free a monkey. We free our monkey friend! And there are Skulltulas there, which we can promptly kill. Yeah, yeah, beckoning monkeys. Bump. Boink. And now they both die. So let's just go up. Why can't Link climb any faster in this game? Now we pretty much don't need a lantern anymore, so I'm just gonna put that away. And now we are in the main forest temple. Yes, main forest temple. Stand these things. These things are kind of annoying. Oh, I I really like how in I want to see how they, what they do in Skyward Sword, because you can flip them over and stab their little weak spots, but which way? I think it's this way. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I gotta go this way first. Um, oh, pfft, light. I have to light all these, and there's two more, so yeah. Wow, I'm already failing. Not failing, but I'm already screwing up in the first part of the temple. That's kind of amazing. Uh, the symbol is actually kind of confusing at first, but... And the monkey... will try and cross this bridge. Or... When? When it's going to try and cross the bridge? There we go. Bye, monkey! And then this jerk comes out. With a boomerang. A, a black boomerang. With the, with the power of darkness! And our monkey falls to its death. D don't do that! I'm gonna slash that thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slash your head off, man. Jerk face. And now, pretty much what we have to do... We gotta go find some more monkeys. Midna, shut up. You're becoming as annoying as Ezlo from Twilight Prince. Not Twilight Prince. This is Twilight Princess, dang it! <laughs> becoming as annoying as Ezlo from Minish Cap. Okay, first we go this way. And what we do, we can actually swing on the monkeys, which is actually kind of nice. And here is where the second one is, I guess. But here is a new mechanic that was introduced in the. Okay, wrong place, I guess. No, you just gotta wait for this to explode! I think I got hit there. Did I get hit there? Yes, I did. No. Slash this pot. And we find a new mechanic. Uku. That is your name. Your name is Uku. And we can. She can warp us out. <laughs> Look at Link's face there! What? <laughs> I would say the same thing, like, don't, don't blame yourself. Well, you get a lot of rupees from that, but... Put away our... Lantern. Or not. How does Link roll into spider webs like that and not break the spider webs? <laughs> you can just climb up here. Okay, I'm just gonna... Plunk. Ah! This is actually kind of confu- Like, compared to other first dungeons in Zelda games, this one is actually quite confusing at points. Because you could pretty much, um, sequence break sometimes. Which is probably what I'm not going to do. Because sequence breaking is not right, because I consider this not a let's play. Well, I do consider it a let's play, of course, but... I don't consider it a 100% let's play. So if I miss stuff, there's you gotta have a key to get over there. But come here. 
Fall. No, don't do that. We're supposed to go this way, monkey. Monkey, this way. Monkey, come this way. And is this... Yeah. This is a new mechanic. The wind actually blows the platforms in different directions. And we just gotta get through this door now. And we soon in other places. Okay, I guess I went the wrong way. Uh, here's the small key that we need to get. That is small key one of four or five. Yeah, you get a lot of small keys in this dungeon. Now we just wait, and where did our monkey go? Oh, she went over there, but let's just keep going back, or go back. Throw back galaxy. That galaxy was freaking easy. Just hop over here with our monkey, open this door with our key, with our keys disease. There's a monkey down there. Yeah, and pretty much the platform breaks. And we can just hop down here. Just roll into this. And it'll knock our monkey off. Just keep rolling into it. And then we get our second monkey. Second monkey! And then there are bow goblins. Who are the easiest enemies in the game, in my opinion. Well, besides keys. But the keys can be annoying at points. But I think we just killed them, too. Yeah, we killed both of them in one hit. See, told you how easy those guys were. Now that we have two monkeys, we can actually return to where we just were, or return to the door. Which is very convenient. I think this dungeon will take two to three parts. Because I think I'm going to... Link, stop doing that. I think I'm going to split the um, dungeon into two parts and then have the boss as a completely other part. Which I... Because I think that'd be kind of convenient. Yeah, so... Let's just keep on jumping. Kukubaba. I think that's their name. Speaking of which, the boss here... Oh, it's awesome. It's actually the first Zelda... This is actually the first Zelda dungeon that I beat... that I had to use help to get to. Not to get to, but I was playing the Wii version, not this version. So you can't blame me. And we can hop over here, do that, and I keep rolling into the spider webs. And here is another room. Which introduced new enemies. Like after you kill these kinda of Deku or Babas. I think they're just called Babas. That you, um, that they pretty much explode. Not explode. These guys explode. These are bomb bugs. Kind of stupid name, I know. Aha! <laughs> I never knew I could do that. Cause I jumped and I dropped it at the same time. Which is awesome, because I think there's an item down there, isn't there? No. Okay, here's where we need to go. We need to get another bomb bug here. Hey, there's something up here, isn't there? Another door, which leads to a place we can't go to yet. Or a place we can't utilize yet, but... Pick this up. And run like heck. And then just throw that up there. And now we'll just go through the door. I'm gonna make these parts fairly long. And here is another root. Here is a new type of enemy here. These are actually like I think they're called plat I don't remember what they're actually called, but we do need a small key to unlock that monkey. I think I'm actually going to get the mini-boss in this part. Just avoid all the platforms that are up. That are oop. I think... Small key's over there, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, I remember this room. I was like, where's the small key, Daggett? And then I just... I can't remember which one it is, though. I think it's... Okay, it's this one. Just hit it. Then it falls down. Open it up. I said open it up. Blank. Open. You are now my slave. And now I get another small key. Which, of course, if you saw that little cutscene, is where... Ow. I hate these things. These things are so annoying. Ow! What you need to do is just light all these. I know we can actually... I think... I think we can actually make it up here now. No, can't. Wah, wah. And then light that one. All we need to do is light two torches. Oh yeah, that cutscene. That little cutscene plays. And then the little jingle! Jingle tingle. I don't know. Ow! Okay. I am so killing you right now. If there's another one that randomly pops under me, I'm gonna kill someone. And that someone is going to be one of them after we get the item of this dungeon. Because you can easily kill them. Just hop up here. Isn't there a skull Yes, there is. Hong Kong Dunk. Finish. Stab it right in the brains. Or in the the membrane. Open this up. We get our third monkey. And now we can actually go to where the bridge was. So I will cut to when I get there. See you guys in a second. Actually, there is a little hidden room here, I think. I think it's where we actually need to go. But just kill the Skultulas. I call them little baby Skultulas because that's what they really are. But, meh. There's a door here, which leads to this room. Okay. This is actually where we need to go. And pretty much the thing ate the key. So we just gotta kill it. And just like those flowers that ate bombs, we just have... And after that, we just throw a bomb into its mouth and it dies. And it actually spits up the key first. I think you can hit it with the slingshot. Okay. I'm here. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to attack me. Aha! You die now. Now it opens up, which is actually... That flower looks like, uh, what's it? I don't remember what it's called, but, um... Venus Flytrap, that's what it looks like to me. Stop hitting me, you bomb flower. Or bomb bug. Have lunch. I don't know what kind of pun that was. It was a horrible one. Let's just get a heart. Get a heart, man! Get a heart! And there's our shiny new key. Keys disease. I'm sorry, I keep stealing your jokes, Jops. Jops Jepson. Jess Jopson. <laughs> stupid me. I are stupid. I'm with stupid. Now we have four monkeys. Now we can go to the bridge. So, I will meet you there. See you guys again in a second. Bye. Oh, I didn't know the dungeon map was here. Guess I know now. But, let's just go in here. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, that monkey is the mini boss, so I'm gonna beat the mini boss and call this an episode. Cause that other episode was horrible and terrible. Horror terrible. And now we can swing a dingy. Hop, 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 hop. And now let's go fight that monkey. That monkey. I think there's hearts and stuff in here. Okay. Hearts and stuff that I don't need. Let's do this. Bring it on, monkey man. Oh, the door's clock. The door's clock. What? Hello, you shiny butt. Oh, now you're using that crap on me, huh? 
jerk. Aw. Uh, and now these things fall down. Don't you laugh! Don't you do that either! I'm gonna kill you, man. I'm killing these first. You can just spin attack if they grab onto you. What you gotta do... Is when he throws his thing, just roll, and then it'll hit him with it when it comes back, and then slash his butt. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, ow! This boss is actually kind of easy, but, but it's not really a boss, to be honest. I think you can roll and just knock him off, but the thing actually has to hit him first. Dang it, I messed up there. Thank so much for calling it an easy boss. Dude! Dude! Did you laugh? Really? Game! You suck. Dude, you suck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Slash his bud! Ha! Ah. I think you gotta cycle that through three times. Two or three, that's all I... Well, I just did it the second time, so it's probably three. I love this song, though. Okay, it's four, then. And we will actually witness another version of this fight a little later. But... And by a little later, I mean, like, right at the end of the game. But now he is dead, or... <coughs> Suck for you. Oh, that bug was controlling his mind. Mind control. It's the future. Herp. <coughs> oh my god, man. Yeah, jump out that window and kill yourself. I don't know. And now we get the item of this dungeon. The boomerang the boomerang had. I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil and now I know how many Focus power. <laughs> blah 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 focus power. You have a boomerang. Yay we got a boomerang. And now, we can equip this instead of slingshot, because, yeah. Okay, so uh, I will show you how to do this. You press whatever button you hold, you do it, uh, whatever you have it equipped to, hold the button. And if you lock on to it, then, then you can just keep locking on to it, which is what I will do. And if you... To lock on on the game key version, you just keep pressing R, which is actually, I think, the superior version. I probably said that already, though. But okay, and will it open now? Yes, it will. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Twilight Princess. We will continue through the Forest Temple, so see you guys next time.